I had to jump on this real quick because when I seen it, I'm like, I might get canceled for this, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. And I posted it on Twitter. So people was like, yeah, talk about it. So here we go. The person who posted this, I had as a guest on my show, uh, Montoya Smith. He is uh, the host of Mental Dialogue. I've had a chance to be on his uh, podcast a couple of times and he came on my show. So great, solid guy. I listen to the show every week. And he posted this on Facebook. If you don't know, if you can marry them, then you definitely shouldn't have a baby by them. Hashtag raise the culture. I'll read that again because I want you to get this. If you don't know if you can marry them, then you definitely shouldn't have a baby by them. Now, of course, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to say this is judgmental, things of that nature. But let's look at it from a different perspective. Let's look at this because I think we don't talk about this enough. Now, this isn't any judgment on people who've had babies out of where like I get it. I understand. Um, it's just that I mean, it's just by the grace of God, like it didn't happen to me because I was out here doing my own thing or whatever. So I'm you know, grateful for that. But let's talk about this in detail. Now, I understand that we get into relationships and sometimes we can be on long term relationships. And we're thinking that we're going to be with this person for a long time, especially if you're younger, right? You know, you, you, people call it puppy love, you know, but in your head, you're thinking, me and this person are going to be together forever because we love each other. And during that process, sometimes you end up getting pregnant because you start to trust this person. You have a condom, then a condom comes off. And I've, I've kind of talked about this before, but a lot of times people get comfortable with, uh, with being with this one person and of course you know we talk about safe sex but i mean after what three months maybe depending on who you're with or if, if you feel like you trust them and they haven't given you any issues and not to you know not trust them so you end up taking a condom off and then boom next thing you know you have a baby now here's the thing what bothers me the most is is men who don't take care of their responsibility. I think that's the biggest thing that bothers me because if you took time to lay with uh, your girlfriend or your significant other, then you have to be responsible enough to raise your child because what happens is when you don't raise your child, you put that responsibility on her alone and then let alone if she has a community, if she has a community of people that can help her, then that pressure goes on with everybody else as well, opposed to the man being responsible and taking care of his business. Because if he did, he would have a community of family members that can help raise the child as well. So here it is. We, if we are raising this child together, even if we aren't married, we both have, uh, her family and his family helping with this baby because we understand that it, it takes a village. I mean, in this day and age, it really takes a village to raise a child. But when the mom is left by herself, that's when she starts to get a lot of stress and a lot of depression uh, and things of that nature because we already know in the black community, black women deal with a lot of depression and a lot of stress. And I believe a lot of that comes from single parenting and thinking that this guy was going to be there with you to raise this child and now you're not there to do it and especially if you're totally out of the picture um and then you don't want to be involved with your child at all you don't want to pay child support so you leave this child without a fighting chance uh they're almost like behind the eight ball coming out the gate and i think we need to do better in that area especially i'm big on mentorship and helping raising these young men to understand that you don't have to sleep with every woman that you're with. And even if you are in a long-term relationship, chances are you might not marry her. I know a lot of young guys hate to hear that, but you might not be with her forever. I mean, the chances are slim. I know you love her now, but you know, give it another three or four years, y'all, y'all not gonna be together. It's just that's just life. Sometimes it happens, I get it. Sometimes some people are not anomalies or you have this little, you know, anecdotal episode where you say, well, my friends, they were together since they were 17. And I'm like, that was just an isolated incident. Don't we're not talking about in general. So, men, I would challenge, especially for fathers who are there uh, to help bring along these younger men. 
uh, if you are a father with children and they have friends, right? Like you can be an example for your kids' friends uh, and help raise these young guys because I believe our black women are really struggling and raising these kids by themselves because they end up going to college and who's going to raise the kid? Like there's a lot of single parent moms who go to college and they they graduate with their degree but what goes on behind the scenes with the baby who's watching the baby who's helping raise the baby right and again that pressure falls on other family members as well as a society as well because we want to make sure that we raise healthy kids so this is something that i really struggle with with young men because i want us to be more responsible uh, i talked about in another video how a lot of our young men are coddled and some of that comes with us not being responsible so when we are having sex and unprotected sex we have these babies and we just leave them um and you just don't give your child that opportunity to grow with their mom and dad we know statistically that when kids have mom and dad in the house that they have a better chance of thriving uh, I know we live in a different day and age and people are going to say, well, my mom was a single mom and she raised me to be Jesus Christ. I get it. Uh, you know, uh, Gloria James, LeBron James mom, she raised LeBron as a single single mom and, and look at LeBron now. I get it. I know. And again, these are anomalies and anecdotal incidents, but I'm talking about for us everyday people that we need to be a little more focused and a little more intentional about who we sleep with and uh even with protecting ourselves because i know guys they want to take the condom off and all this other stuff ladies let's just be a little more proactive and again like i said earlier some men they're just not going to be around for you that you're not going to be together forever and i'm not talking about people that's just like one night stands i'm talking about people that you thought that you was going to be with uh, because I was reading the, the quote and they're saying like, you know, if they're not marriage material, chances are you might not marry that person. So let's be a little more proactive. Let's be a little more thoughtful and about the people who we choose to sleep with, because I know he cute. I know he attractive and you think that y'all going to have beautiful kids together, but uh, it's, it's going to all change when you find out that you by yourself. He ain't going to be sexy anymore because he left you by yourself. Um, and that's just the kind of culture that we have um, in, in, in most cases, rather than not, because I want to look at some statistics as far as single moms I was reading the other day, and the numbers have doubled for single parent moms in the household from, uh, I believe, the late 60s up until today. Single parent households led by moms have doubled and we got to be able to make a change and that's why i'm doing this video so hopefully this video was able to help someone leave um leave a question below uh, let me know in the comment section what you think about this uh am, am i being too harsh or is this just today's culture where we just have a bunch of single moms you know and our kids thriving in single parent households ladies how do you feel do you are you okay with just raising your child by yourself because you don't really have to deal with him uh or should we meet should we hold men feet to the fire when it comes to raising their kids because i'm all about that i believe we need to put these men feet to the fire when it comes to having their kids because that's your responsibility and i believe that that's something that's going to help us overall as a society when we are taking care of our children make sure you leave a rating and review on apple Podcasts if you're listening to this if you're watching this leave a comment below i would love to hear from you on this controversial topic shout out to montoya smith thanks for uh saying some real stuff that i think culture needs to hear especially in this day and age don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share this with a friend if you leave a comment on Apple Podcasts, I'll, I'm going to shout you out so that way I can show you some love. So I want us to get those comments up in the podcast section. This is Sean Heineman, your number one pre-engagement coach at A Scary To Be Mary. Take care, people.